Hi everyone, welcome to this video about capturing stunning wildlife photography in the heart of the Great Bear Rainforest. Join us as we embark on a four-day photography workshop exploring breathtaking landscapes and unique wildlife of this magnificent ecosystem. The captain of our boat and our guide is from this territory. I have partnered with another professional photographer, Dave Hutchinson, and I'm excited to share a small sample of what our amazing wildlife workshop looks like. So sit back and grab a warm cup of coffee, because this is going to get wild. Got my backpack. We're currently in Port McNeil right now. Today is our first day out on the water. First day to see some whales, hopefully some white-sided dolphins, and some grizzlies. On our first day out on the water, the weather started out cloudy and overcast, but just when we thought it was going to be a dreary day, the sun broke through and brought with it a special treat. Our guides took us to a special open bay. We got ready with our telephoto gear, cooled the engines, and we took a look around. It didn't take long before the locals showed up. Humpbacks were spotted in every direction, and the trick was to find out where they would be popping up for the next opportunity to take some photographs. To do this, we used a technique where we looked for a group of seabirds. The birds are quick to find the schools of fish, also known as bait balls, and the whales are equally quick to rush to where the food is. It was an incredible sight to see these magnificent creatures in their natural habitat and the sun shining down on them made for some stunning photograph opportunities. After an exciting day out on the water, we headed to Echo Bay. During the next few days, we will be staying in the scenic and remote cabin. Echo Bay has everything you need. It's got warm showers, it's got Wi-Fi and power, a wood fireplace, and the friendliest chef and the best food you could ever ask for. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Stephen. The salmon are running, and we had a little bit of rain. How many mils do you figure? 17, 17 and a half mils. That's a good, good 16 estimate. And three quarters, 16 and three quarters, I like that, I like that. Yeah, so today is looking like it's gonna be a good day. Here we are in Eco Bay, or is it Echo Bay? Well, they're very eco-friendly at Echo Bay. And we're just packing up the boat, got all of our camera equipment, um, I got a rain jacket, rain pants, boots, the whole nine yards. I think today's going to be a good day. On our way to our next location, we spotted some wildlife along the coast. Now the best settings for photographing wildlife is manual mode with auto ISO. This will allow you to control your shutter, which is your primary focus, depending on how fast the wildlife is and how much you are moving. And then the secondary is aperture. After that, your auto ISO will go ahead and adjust accordingly to evenly expose your image. So we 
here in um, Thompson Sound is the English name. Kahwikin is the First Nations name. Um, we're in the traditional territory of the Muskamaug Tsaudenuch. It's a confederation of four different tribes, um, but the Kwikwisikinuk have rights and title up here. Yeah. This is our ride. Part of the magic of wildlife photography is the adventure and thrill of getting to where the wildlife is. Whether it's a hike through the forest, a paddle down a river, or a boat ride along the coast, the journey to reach your subjects can be just as memorable as the actual photography. The excitement of not knowing what you might encounter along the way, and the chance to immerse yourself in nature make the journey all that more enjoyable. The beauty of the Great Barrier Forest is truly a sight to behold, and the thrill of capturing its stunning wildlife is an unforgettable experience. Even after you've seen so much wildlife, when you see a bear and it's waiting for a fish, patience is a virtue. Now for my exposure metering, I will use Matrix. For Canon users, I believe it's called Evaluative. I would then take some test shots and take a look at my histogram. And if the scene is a little too bright or dark, I would then use exposure compensation. Typically when a bear gets out of water just like a dog, it shakes. That is my cue to quicken my shutter speed to freeze the action. My hot chocolate. It's almost square. It's almost square. Good morning, everyone. This is day. Two from Echo Bay. Day two. Day, day three nice. for you. Yeah, day three for us. Day three. Day four. <laughs> Safety first. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
great day out photographing the grizzlies and we've seen white-sided dolphins, we've seen black bear, we've seen an eagle. Yeah, really the grizzlies were, were key and a really good day. Oh, sorry. We wanted to see a waterfall, so here we are. Captain said we're gonna go right into it. We got us pretty close. I think we're up about seven feet. Really high tides right now. And we got a little bit of rain last night, so now we got some water in the waterfall. And then off to the back, who are these guys? Who are these chum buckets as they call them? Well, we're photographers. Now when you're out photographing in a wet environment in the Great Barrier Rainforest for multiple days, you're bound to run into some complications or some trouble with camera equipment. And for me, that was my camera mic. He didn't miss much, I was just out explaining how amazing the morning was on our final day. I'm standing before you telling you I found the fog bow. Actually, there's two fog bows. And uh, our minds are blown. Double fog bow all the way. To freeze the action on the Pacific white-sided dolphins, my shutter speed is around two thousandths of a second. Sometimes I'm shooting at 2500, especially on a sunny day like today. For humpback whales, it's much slower. I can slow the shutter speed down to even a hundredth of a second. If we start seeing breaching whales, that's when I'm going to increase the shutter speed to a really fast shutter, say three thousand or four thousandth of a second. And some of this depends on how far away the subject is from the lens. The closer they are, the faster the shutter speed needs to be. Dinner is served. What do we have here? 
Some hummus and crackers. Mm. Food for kings. Culture is all oral. Nothing was written down. It was all passed down through ceremony, through sitting with granny and grandpa and you know, go mom and dad. Right? That's how our culture was passed down from generation to generation. So at these ceremonies, we've been inviting everybody. Now, if the day couldn't get any better, we witnessed something truly remarkable. A pod of orcas communicating to one another above the surface of the water. There was high frequency communication that was really hard to pick up on the camera, but also this sound. Bum hop? You can call that? <laughs> no. Spy hop. Here we go. Oh. Spy office when they come up here first. Just floating. We were thrilled to be capturing all of this excitement around our boat, but then we noticed that there was more pods coming into the bay. Before we knew it, there was about 60 orcas, some further away, splashing their tails, and then other ones right up close. It was so hard to concentrate on one pod because another one would just surface right next to you. I found that the best moments was when my eyes weren't looking through the viewfinder, but just looking out and seeing all the action all around with my own eyes. This was one of those moments where you had to be there to experience it, and not one photograph would capture 60 orcas playing and communicating in the bay around us. With so much activity from the beautiful landscapes from the fog to the sea lions, to the orcas and whales and the white-sided dolphins, we haven't had any time to review our images. Thank you for joining us on this incredible wildlife adventure. We hope you enjoyed seeing all the amazing wildlife and nature that we encountered. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested in going on a trip of your own, 
Be sure to check out the details in the description below. Thank you again for watching.